You need to learn to read the Quran and its meaning so that it takes you into Jannah because it's the word of the owner of Jannah. That's the reason it is the word of the owner of Jannah. And I have given the young people an example that you know what if someone you will love, really love them send you a message no matter how long it is. You want to read it. Why? Because you really love them. What about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He sent you the whole Quran. You don't just read it in the month of the Ramadan. Start now. Start today. Pick up the Quran and read one verse every day. Is too much? Is it too much? One verse, not more than one verse. One verse every day. Today you read. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen 2. Tomorrow you can read Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. No problem. The next day you can read Malik Yom Iddin. This is the minimum minimum you must be thinking that's too little isn't it is you must be thinking i can read the whole of surah al-fatiha read it with its meaning one once a day at least minimum put a marker wallah there will come a day then that quran will be a witness for you because the hadith says all actions are judged by their underlying intention and every person shall be rewarded according to their intention. So if your intention was to complete the Quran and you were reading one verse a day and you die after having read perhaps one chapter out of 114 chapter, you will be still rewarded as thought you read the entire Quran because of the consistency, the dedication and the intention you follow. There are people all created need that you are. You help them fulfill their need and Allah will help you fulfill yours. When you give a poor person a dollar, you might be helping him build this dunya. But trust me, this dua will help you build your akhirah. Let me translate that into English. When you give a person a dollar, you might be helping him in terms of this worldly life. But his prayer for you will help you build your hereafter. That's what is it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our wealth. A person who doesn't give before Ramadan what to do they accept to do in the month of the Ramadan. So let us start giving from now. Learn to be generous in order to lead the example even a little bit. Every day you start your day with a good deed to read a dua or two. How many of us sit to eat together as a family? How many of us were few and we say no? Singapore, you know, life is very difficult. It's fast. We need to go to work early now. You make the time to have at least one meal together. Start off with Bismillah. All of it. How simple it is. That's the mi minimum dua. Minimum dua is to Bismillah. If you want, you can say it in English. Oh Allah, I thank you for meal you have given me. Thank you for the food that you have blessed with and the drink that you have granted us. Say it. So your children know that every time my father or my mother eats or drink, they thank Allah. So let me do the same. And they relate it to Allah. Oh Allah, it's you who has blessed this, blessed us with us. Let us understand, it is the month of fasting, the month of discipline, the month of taqwa, the month of Quran, the month of developing a link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the month of repentance, the month of making resolutions, so that we can lead the first of the 11 months of the year leading up to the next Ramadan in a way that will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you now try it out see the benefit you have you first you arrive at new level of spirituality believe me trust me it is just like Salat Tahajjud. Tahajjud is the prayer, Fajr prayer, which we always say if you have not engaged in it, try it out at least a few times in your life. Come on, try it out. I am sure we can be strong enough to do that. We can try it. So get up once a month and say you know what let me try to do it see what happens to you i promise you 
something will change in you permanently you know that right for the sake of allah get up put your clock only for allah and let's be honest a lot of us look at all salah as a responsibility being a burden rather than a responsibility being a gift that we should be honored to engage in like uh, I always say and I have said to it from this seat as well in the past my brother and the sister there is a difference between a person who fulfills salah because he has to do it and another who fulfills it because he wants to fulfill it very big difference you know there comes a time when someone says where well, who why are you wearing your salah and the person will say because i have to it's a duty that's correct the answer is not wrong but there comes a time when a person wants to read that salah they are looking forward they now it's a duty but they don't stop at that they really want to in that case they will start working on the quality of the salah rather than the quantity because if you are reading it because you have to, to come in and you are just done and up and down and up and you finish your salah and you are out you say alhamdulillah as you know you are done and you walk out and everything is gone but if you wait it because you want to you come in and you take your time you stand correctly you have made wudu properly and Allah when you start your prayer you are plucked in with Allah nothing distract you and you can engagement it the longer you prolong the more you enjoy it is that what happens to us? May Allah make us that. Pray for them. Go and visit the elderly, with the sickly. You should be getting a feeling of goodness. When you visit an old person, subhanAllah, you will find lots of wisdom. They have seen the world, they have seen so much. You will find lots of goodness. If it is one of the teaching of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wa sallam, go and visit the sickly. Go and visit your relatives. Solve problem and matters. Resolve matters. A winner is the who resolve problems. You have a family matter of feud between the family. Try your best to solve it and try it and try hard it's not easy but you will be now in the eyes of allah as a person who thought his best to minimum family ties <laughs> a person who is a maintainer to god family ties is not he who has a tight for that relationship you know what then they give me something i give something they give me something i give them something part of it subhanallah it's wind that catches everyone which means the university reaches everyone i am generous to you with my smile i am generous to you with my time i am generous to you with whatever allah has blessed with by the help of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we will engage in in astaghfar we will try and welcome this beautiful month by turning to allah and by developing our character and conduct by improving the relationship we have in our homes and houses a lot of us have a lot of rooms islam no room for procrastination in islam 
do not leave today's work for tomorrow just because you feel you will be able to do it tomorrow in fact tomorrow's work you can do it today a uh, productive muslims will being it and do it now so that tomorrow something else might come up and you can contact if this is why we, we say let's start benefits for the month of the ramadan from now for improvement with our relation with our own children and our relation with our wives and our husband perhaps we have so much that needs to be done but sometimes we could not be bothered we are too busy doing some other things before you want life will be over you know nowadays time is flying that's just muhammad sallallahu has prophesized this one of the prophecies of towards the end of the time time will begin to fly it will be crumpled crumpled meaning a month will pass as thought it was just a day honestly make resolutions that are grant and her and now we have spoken about quite a few of them Let's hope that we can plug right here right now that we will engage in at least one of the matters that we have discussed today as positive resolution resolutions in order to enhance ourselves as good muslims to be to become better people so that when the month of the ramadan comes we will already be on a beautiful level and we will excel and improve and we we'll now how to even welcome to month of ramadan that are so beneficial and so beautiful